Have you ever found yourself in Excel spending too much time changing one cell in a grouping of formulas just to arrive at a specific result in another cell? For example, trying to see how much quantity we need to sell in order to break even, or reach a net profit of zero. We're going to learn how to save time by quickly arriving at a specific number through the What If Analysis Goal Seek tool in Excel. And we'll even expand on this understanding to learn how to arrive at several different numbers with the Data Table tool in our next Quick Tip video. To start, let's say we're producing water bottles at a fixed cost of $38,400, meaning no matter how many we produce, we are paying this cost. Our unit cost, or how much it's going to cost us to make each water bottle, is $3.78. And we know we can charge $5 per water bottle. Let's set up the formulas. Revenue equals quantity multiplied by unit price. Fixed costs equal negative fixed costs. Variable costs equal quantity multiplied by negative unit cost. And net profit equals all three of these cells put together. We want to reach break even point or get a net profit of zero. Instead of adjusting the quantity up and down and seeing how it affects our net profit, go to the data tab. Under Data Tools, click What If Analysis and select Goal Seek. Now to break even, our net profit needs to equal zero. So set cell net profit to value of zero by changing the quantity. Because we have all these formulas set up and contingent on each other, the calculation will be performed instantly. Click OK. Now not only do we know how to use the Goal Seek function in Excel, but we also know that with a fixed cost of $38,400, a unit price of 5, and a unit cost of $378, we need to sell a quantity of 31,475 water bottles to reach break even. Wow, that's a lot of water.